From the heartland of America to every nation on earth, this is Jack Van Empe Presents The Truth in News and Commentary. Here now are Drs. Jack and Rexella Van Empe. Hello and welcome to Jack Van Impe Presents. Once again, I think you will agree with me that I'm going to give you some headlines that are absolutely startling. You know, we gather them from around the world every week to come into your home. This first one, the New World Order, is rapidly rising, rapidly. And Russia, Jordan, vow to achieve independent Palestinian state. They're joining together saying we are going to make it happen. Friends, I can't tell you how excited Jack gets sometimes. Right in the middle of the night or early in the morning, the Lord will awaken him out of a deep sleep and he'll say, Rexella, whoo, I got to get up and go into my study and the Lord's speaking to my heart. And Jack, I've never seen you more excited than just the other day when the Lord seemed to awaken you in the middle of the night there. The Holy Spirit puts things in my mind that must have been going on there while I was asleep and the subconscious was working. And the Spirit of God led me. I don't talk to him. I don't see him personally, but the thought's there. Didn't you do the book of Daniel verse by verse? Yeah. Well, think it through. You have been preaching seven major New Testament signs. And when all seven are here, that's when our Lord comes. We won't know the day and the hour, Matthew 24, 36, but we'll know when it's near, even at the door. You can hear the knock, but when? When these seven New Testament things have been fulfilled. They all are. But then the Holy Spirit brought to mind Daniel 12, 4. Daniel sealed the book until the end. Now, he didn't mean the end of the world because many times in that 12 chapter book, he mentions the world will never end. In fact, Daniel 7, 18, this is when the Lord's people come back. He said, the saints shall take and possess the kingdom. What on earth? Forever, even forever and ever. Three times the terminology used, forever. What do you mean then? Seal this book. It'll be a closed book. No one will understand it until those seven things happen and then I'll be back. I said, seven things? And I jumped out of my bed. I went to my desk and I began studying my book of Daniel verse by verse. And all seven New Testament signs are all in the book of Daniel in 12 chapters. And it's supposed to be sealed until it's just written. Nobody would understand it until it was the time for Messiah to come, for Christ to return. Right. It's here. Whoa, in Jack. Daniel. <laughs> That's exciting. Friends, we have spoken so very often about the New World Order. But today we are going to do something to, that I believe will be very enlightening. We're going to see the progression, where it's going right now. But uh, we're going to have to back up just a little bit and show you some headlines that we have used before. And you're going to say, oh, Rexella, we've seen it before. Kissinger, Obama primed to create new world order. Yes, we've used it. And here again, the world must forge a new order or retreat to chaos. This is a new one. Yes. Here we go. Ahmadinejad stresses need for new world order. A lot of world leaders are talking about a new world order, but it's nothing new. There have been many organizations from the past who actually wanted, major organizations who wanted a big part in developing the new world order. Now, Jack, will you just enumerate some of those organizations, please, for us? 2,500 years ago, it started in Egypt, but then it died down, and in 1797, a missionary came to Europe and started talking about the New World Order. Now, this is not just some theory that we've concocted in our mind. In fact, I have over 200 names of leaders for the last 200 years, including uh, Bush, the father of George Jr., and scores of men, all preaching the 
New World Order. In fact, it was Bush and Gorbachev, a communist, who created the term the New World Order. Now, from 1797 onward, we first of all had the Illuminati, the Bilderbergs, the Council of Foreign Relations, the Trilateral Commission, the Club of Rome, the United Nations, and the New Age Movement. And I'm telling you, it has arrived. And this is what the European Union has become, the revived Roman Empire of the prophecies of this book. Whoa, Jack, that's so exciting to see it all happening and how it's developing. One other question. The Bible does talk about seven world empires, seven of them. Now, most of them have been before our very eyes in the past, but Jack, name those seven that the Bible talks about, will you please? You remember the Apostle Paul who was converted on the Damascus Turnpike and what a change he had in his life, and he became a global missionary for his day. And he had just been to Macedonia and also Achaia, and now he says, I'm going to Jerusalem and then I must see Rome. And that's why he wrote the epistle of Romans, because he had been there, Romans 1, 7. That's also Daniel 9, verse 26. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's here. Now, the Bible says in Revelation 17, 10, there are seven kings. Five are fallen, one is, and one is yet to come. The five that were fallen, Assyria, Egypt, Babylon, Medo-Persia, and Greece. Now, when Daniel explains the image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had seen. He doesn't deal with the first two because they're passe, but he starts with Babylon and works right down and said that final world empire will be revived Rome. And you know that Benelux, Belgium, Netherlands, and Luxembourg were in the original Roman Empire, and in 1948 they were the three original ones in the new movement. And beloved, this is the last sign. And Jesus is about to return. But Jack, it just seems it, it verifies the fact that only God could write the Bible yeah. because those seven empires were named before they ever developed. How wonderful to know that we have the Word of God to depend uh, on. Know true. unto God are all His works from the beginning of the world, Acts 15, 18. All right, I've got one more question here. He mentioned the Bilderbergs a moment ago and the Club of Rome. Now, why are they so important, Jack? Okay, all seven groups are working for the New World Order, a one world government. First of all, the Bilderbergs started this movement at a hotel named Bilderberg in Holland. And they've laid all the foundation for what's coming. In fact, Henry Kissinger is one of them, and he's the one who said we're preparing Obama to become the leader of this new world order. And it's just amazing what has happened. And it is this revived Roman Empire, the European Union, that begins marking people with the 666. Let me quote it. Revelation 13, verses 15 to 18. He had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many who would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. He caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or forehead that no man, no man, no man might be able to buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that understanding count the number of this beast. It's the number of a man, and his number is 600, three score and six. 600, we know. A score is 20, three score is 60, and six. Six, six, six. Even the rock groups have been using it in much of their uh, music in bygone days. All right? What's so important about that? The Bilderbergs have laid out a plan at Chantilly, Virginia, saying we plan to microchip every human being on Earth. You don't think it's near? Oh, I've always heard there be wars and rumors. Well, that's nonsense. There had to be seven major signs, and wars and rumors of wars were meaningless. Famines, pestilence, earthquakes, all of Matthew 24, meaningless. Until these seven signs happened from the book of Daniel as well. And he says, when you see these seven things happening with everything else, then you know it's near, even at the door, okay? What about the Club of Rome? 
This Bible teaches that this revived Roman Empire will begin uh, with 10, and then it'll keep growing to a global thing and then become 10 again. Where is that? That's Daniel chapter 7, verses 7 and 20, uh, Revelation 12, 3, Revelation 13, 1, and Revelation 17, verses 3, 7, 12, and 16. But it will become global, and it has, as we're moving toward that and figuring out, 27 already. And Kissinger and the rest are talking about a worldwide organization, unity. And I said 200 men have been preaching it, and 40, 50 of them just in our day. But this is exciting. The Club of Rome, who also wants this new world government, has divided the entire world into 10 division global empire. Not just 10 nations. How could that be a world empire? 10 divisions. And it was Rabbi Hegian. Oh, I like this. Who said, there will arise a Gentile monarchy. And they will build a 10 division world empire. 10 division. And when it's built, it will be the announcement that our Mashiach, our Messiah, is about to appear. Ladies and gentlemen, we already have the outline of all the world under a 10 division empire. It's ready, it's waiting to go. And it was Jerome who wrote the Latin Vulgate who used the word rapture in 1 Thessalonians 4.17. See, I find in the Bible, you can in the Catholic Bible. And he said, when you get to the word caught up, it is an appeal mord, raptured. But he also said, when you see this 10 division world empire, and we've got the plans right now, he said, that is the announcement that our Lord Jesus Christ is about to return to earth and set up his kingdom. Wow, what a day to be alive. Oh, Jack, that is so exciting. And friends, I'd like for you to take a look. Netanyahu, Israel will never share Jerusalem with the Palestinians. My question was going to be, can we have peace? in the Middle East now. Is that possible now? Yeah. Yes, it's going to last for 42 months, like I said. And that's why everyone's going to say, isn't it wonderful? But it will not last. Oh, the world's in for trouble. If you're not ready to meet the Lord, get ready, please. Don't put off salvation. You know, friends, the Lord is coming. You, you know that. What if He came today? Are you ready? Is your life ready? Would you be ashamed? Even if you go to church, perhaps you don't live like that. I trust that you'll open your heart to the Lord as Jack prays this wonderful prayer to accept Jesus into your heart. Oh, Jack, will you please show us how to be ready? Oh, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ shall be saved. That's God's promise. That's all it is. Just call. Just ask. We do it as I pray and you pray after me slowly. Lord Jesus, the one and only Savior, thank you for the cross. Thank you for dying for me, shedding your precious blood for me because you love me. I trust in what you did for me, Jesus, and today I receive you into my heart. Save me. In your name I pray it. Amen. Those five words at the end, I receive you into my heart. I trust that you opened your heart to the Lord and you prayed that prayer. I guarantee he came in. I'll send you absolutely free this little booklet if you'll let me know. There's my address. Rexella, I prayed the prayer. First steps in a new direction will be in the mail, especially for you. Our offer of the week, Showdown with Iran, talking about everything in here that we've been explaining and elaborating on it. And here's our announcer to tell you how you can receive it. Bob? To order your copy of the Showdown with Iran book with a bonus DVD, The Mideast Crisis, Can Israel Survive?, have your credit card ready and call toll-free 24 hours a day, 1-800-JVI-7777. To order by mail in the U.S., send your donation of $24.95 to Jack Van Impe Ministries, Box 7004, Troy, Michigan, 48007. 
in Canada, send your donation of $24.95 to Jack Van Impey Ministries of Canada, Box 1717, Postal Station A, Windsor, Ontario, N9A. 6Y1. Oh, thank you, Bob. I do want you to have this in your home. It's so very important because, you know, the threat of war with Iran is growing every single day, and you need to know all the details. It's very, very thorough. You need to have this book. And I got a bonus for you. We're going to be talking about Israel also, as well as uh, the Mideast crisis. Oh, please, make the call or write to us, Showdown with Iran, and my bonus can Israel survive? Oh, I know our time is gone, but I want to leave you with a very, very good thought. We need to be living for the Lord. The seeds we sow today determine the fruit we'll reap tomorrow. We need to be living for Him. And we are going to be looking forward to being your home again next week. And until then, please remember, God cares for you. And so do we so very much. Bye-bye.